Hey guys, it's Chris here. How's it going? Uh, before we begin the video, I need to tell you uh, that English is not my first language, so please go easy on me regarding that. And that being said, let us begin. This is a solo underworld farming build with the Necromancer profession. And for this build, I am going to be using the Sufferer, as you can see, and birthday cupcakes to run away from difficult situations. Um, right now I'm in the ice wastes and as you can see it's pretty empty because I'm finished with most of it. I did leave uh, uh, several um, enemy groups to show you how the build works. So we will be moving towards a bunch of Artaxes soon. I don't know how you're supposed to be saying their name. Um, unfortunately, there are no skeletons left um, in the parts that I have completed. But you're supposed to be killing them with the, the assassin skill. <coughs> um, yeah, as you can see, I'm moving backwards in, towards the first chamber. And here is the first combat encounter. Now, now, the first thing of note here is that you need to know that every enemy type, as in, for example, the bulls and the graspings and the smiters, they are dealt with with different aspects of the build. So, for example, in this, this encounter, I am using the three maintained enchantments along with protective spirit, spirit bond and life sheath. I don't use sneak attack, I don't use the assassin support skill because if I do blind uh, the Ataxes then I won't be gaining energy. So I need the energy that I gain from their hits. Not to mention the fact that they do use the skill repost or reposte, I don't know how you're supposed to say that. Um, so as you can see, Protective Spirit, Spirit Bond and Life Sheet are the things that keep me alive. You don't have to worry about the damage output, by the way, because you're dealing all the damage you need through Retribution and your Scythe. One more thing worth mentioning here is that you can use Life Sheet not just to heal, but also to remove uh, Deep Wound because Deep Wound messes with your healing potency. For example, if you don't use Life Sheet to remove Deep Wound from time to time, you will realize that uh, Spirit Bond won't heal you, but will keep your health at a steady level. So if you want to heal up, then you need to use uh, Life Sheet. Yeah, and as you can see, they're slowly going down through virtually automatic damage. Well, admittedly, it's a bit slow, but um, at the end of the day, you're killing um, Artaxes with a Necro, so I guess it's a thing. If I remember correctly, at the end of this battle, there's a there's an ectoplasm drop. Let's see how it goes. There we go. Uh, going down, and yes, the ecto drop, as I had anticipated. Yep. Let's heal up the bleeding first and then pick up the Ecto <coughs> and move on to Graspings. And so the way you deal with the Grasping Darknesses is a little bit different. Um, you don't need your Essence Spawn on Balthazar Zoro with these guys. Um, what you need to do is you perma blind them. Because they have Skull Crack and Distracting Blow, which can mess up your run completely. They deal very little damage, 
um, but if they do land a skull crack, a lucky skull crack, then you're pretty much done. So here, as you can see, I hit with the sneak attack after their initial uh, random interrupts. And once they're blinded, I heal up with life sheath and spirit bond just in case they land a lucky hit. They attack with flurry and you have only a 15 armor. Uh, your AR is 15, so they do have, they do deal decent damage to 15 armor. So you do need the occasional healing through Spirit Bond and Life Sheet. But as long as you keep a uh, sneak, attack, sneak attack intact, then you won't have major problems, as you can see here. And what I'm gonna do next is that I'm gonna move to the first chamber and show you what I've done there. Let's wait for the bulls to pass first. Yeah. Um, as I said before, you can, you can kill uh, skeletons and nightmares with the Evan Vanguard uh, assassin support. The thing is that uh, nightmares die immediately the, the moment you throw an assassin at them, but skeletons need to be dealt with uh, from behind the wall. As long as you aggro them from behind the wall, you can spam um, the assassin. I think it takes two or three assassins to kill one skeleton. So, as you can see, the chamber is pretty empty. No skeletons, no graspings, no attacks, no nightmares. And we move back to the ice wastes, wastes to deal with a bunch of smiters now. So guys, if you if you think that you like the video and are interested, please do like and subscribe as it supports the channel and it helps me make more videos. Um, thank you for that. And apart from that, this is like, this to me is like a, a side project. By this I mean this channel. Because I have other work responsibilities that I have to deal with. And I do this in my, in, in, the, in what little spare time I have. So any support is appreciated. Let's wait for the cold fires to pass. There should be a nightmare pop here. So yeah, now to the smiters. We um, put up our, our enchantments, the, the three maintained ones. And all you need to do here to deal with any smiter group is do nothing else but to put up your protective spirit and spam spirit bond. That is it. No life sheath, no sneak attack, nothing. Just spirit bond, spirit bond, spirit bond. So the deal with spirit bond here is that it is triggered through zealot's fire as well. Which means even if the smiters try to heal themselves with reversal of fortune, um, they do take damage through retribution. There's nothing to do here except watch them slowly go down. I think, I believe, if I remember correctly, you can tank up to around six maybe smiters at a time. And yeah, that's how it goes. 
So for smiters you use this tactic, for attacks you use that tactic, and for graspings you use another one. And for skeletons and nightmares you just throw at them the, the assassin. So thanks for bearing me, with me folks. Um, forgive me for my English. <laughs> Um, and I hope to see you next time in another video. Take care and goodbye. Here is a funny roar. Yay!